education for the astronomy, education for the autumn culture. Vivian Segundo is a member of the Tahana Autumn Nation, a council representative for the Chukakuk District, and a manager in the Kitt Peak Visitor Center. She believes visitors should learn about the significant astronomy work being done at Kitt Peak, but also learn about the significance the autumn people place on the awe-inspiring mountain. It is a secret mountain here and on um, our autumn land. Back in 1958, the National Science Foundation had to convince the autumn nation leaders to lease the mountain for a national observatory. They had to show them what they were going to actually be doing. So they did get to look through a telescope and at that time they called them the people with long eyes. The Autumn Nation signed a perpetual lease with the people with long eyes. After constructing a road, the first telescope on Kitt Peak began operating in 1960. Today, Kitt Peak is home to more than 20 optical and two radio telescopes. Right now, Kitt Peak you could argue is the largest concentration of major optical research telescopes on Earth. Peter McMahon oversees the Kitt Peak Visitor Center as they celebrate 60 years of educating visitors who come to the National Observatory. They offer daily tours, a nighttime observation tour, and an overnight telescope observing program. There are several significant research projects going on right now at Kitt Peak, much of it groundbreaking work. The largest telescope behind me, the four meter male telescope, is currently creating the largest, most detailed 3D map of the universe ever. They're trying to better understand the nature of dark energy by studying how the universe has expanded over time. 30 million galaxies we've observed. Scientist Dick Joyce says they're looking at about one third of the night sky to create a 3D map of the universe. The DESI instrument focuses 4,000 individual fiber optic cables at the universe. And this will tell us something about the phenomenon we call dark energy. Something we don't know what it is, we just know that it that exists. exists. Kitt Peak is also home to a pair of Space Watch telescopes helping to find any near-Earth asteroids that could threaten our planet. And the 3.5 meter wind telescope is looking for other planets like ours, known as exoplanets. In 2020, we started using the NUID instrument. NUID is an awesome word that means to see or to seek. They're seeking Earth-sized planets around sun-like stars. Earth is the only place in the entire universe that we're certain there's life. And our best guess at guessing where there might be something else is to look for another place that might be like Earth. And we're still a ways away from that, but one of the first steps is to find things that look like they could be Earth. The future for Kitt Peak includes the repurposing of the McMath Pierce Telescope as the Windows on the Universe Center for Astronomy. Turn it into essentially a functioning science center that has a telescope inside it. That telescope once studied the sun and the moon. Astronauts like Neil Armstrong came to Kitt Peak to look closely at the lunar surface. The new window center will feature exhibits under the massive inverted V-shaped telescope. It blurs the line between what is a telescope, what is an observatory, and what is uh, a science center. Just another example of how Kitt Peak National Observatory is as much for the visitors as it is for the world's top scientists, making it absolutely Arizona.